Hey, why work hard to earn a good reputation when you can just take someone else's? Time for this guy who's using someone else's name to meet the guy from the Hall of Shame. What's your name? Joe's his name. You're not bothering me. You're not going to stop nothing I'm doing. Profiting off this guy's reputation is his game. I actually own Bloomfield Construction. But Joe doesn't care. Hey, why don't you just have Jeff. a different name? I, I can name my company whatever I want to, no, Rob. No, you can't. And while Joe may want to use this name... Get out of my face with I'm that bullshit. I'm not in face. I've got Joe's number. I'm I, not here to run from your camera or none of that, Rob, because I'm a legitimate businessman. No, you're so, not. Yeah, you yes, don't I have a, a builder's license. You can't so be doing So we in Michigan. Here. That's not true, bro. This is the real Bloomfield Construction. And you're the established guy. You've been here for a long time. 25 years. The company's got an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. Jeff Petrucci built this $5 million a year company from scratch and has seen it all. At least he thought so until earlier this year. Something wasn't right. Jeff started getting calls from customers he didn't recognize and calls from suppliers on jobs that he wasn't familiar with. But they all told him they were working with Bloomfield Construction. Jeff Googled his company and was surprised to see a website for this company, a company called Bloomfield Construction slash Renovation. It says this company Jeff never heard of has been a leader in the industry since 2001. Says the owner is Joseph Duane. So Jeff called this copycat contractor. Hey, you know, this is my company. What are you doing? How long have you been in business? And then we kind of got into an argument. The argument continued in text messages, ending with Joe saying, God is my provider, not man, so I'll see you in court. So Jeff took him to court. But Jeff didn't see Joe in court because Joe, nor his attorney, showed up. Regardless, the judge ordered the defendant Joe to stop doing business as Bloomfield Construction and Renovations, Inc., or doing business under any trade name containing a combination of the words Bloomfield and construction. But Joe didn't stop. Joe does things his way. There he is wearing a Bloomfield Construction shirt, and the website's still up. Joe's real name is Joseph Dwayne Carson, and he is a contractor, an unlicensed contractor. How good is his work? Windows he put in upside down. Daryl gave him 12 grand last year to work on a house. It doesn't look too good. He did work on a roof that was unstable. It went on for weeks. He didn't show up on time. He missed many days. Um, and when he did show up, it was always late. Finally, Joe said he didn't like Daryl's attitude. He said afterwards that we should meet like men and go over the bill so he could, he could prove the work that he's done. So I offered to meet him immediately, and he never showed up. Daryl contacted the police but didn't follow up because his wife was scared of Joe. And I don't blame her. Turns out Joe is a lifelong criminal. According to the Michigan State Police, in 1986 he was arrested for breaking and entering, fleeing the police in 90, narcotics possession in 92, retail fraud and then two counts of assault and battery. In 2003, two counts of receiving stolen property. 2008, drug possession, breaking and entering, and assault. And when he's not in prison, it seems Joe's not paying taxes. He owes $61,000 to the IRS. With his record, Joe can't get a contractor's license. This guy doesn't even have a valid driver's license. My producer calls the number on the Bloomfield Construction slash Renovations website and sets up an appointment for a construction estimate. And even though Joe agrees to meet, he keeps canceling at the last minute. For days, this guy was a no-show. But you know what they say, fifth time is a charm. Actually, nobody says that, except maybe Joe, because here he is with a partner, both wearing shirts that say Bloomfield Construction. What's the name of your company, Bloomfield Construction? What is this about? Well, I'm trying to find out a little bit about your business. Can you fill me in? You see I'm doing construction. What's, what's the problem? Well, I want to know what's the name of your company. Google it. Google it? Well, I did. Yeah, okay. So it says here... Your Bloomfield Construction and Renovation. Yep. And it says you've been in business since 2001. Yes, sir. And that's your builder's license number that's there? That's a special trace. What does it say right there, Rob? It says special can you contractor read? SID. Right. Yeah, I can read. It says okay. always imitated but never duplicated. That's right. Who's imitating you? A lot of people. Yeah. You probably is right now. Good comeback, especially from a guy who's imitating another business. Hey, you can't out. get a contractor's license, and this is you. You're a crook. Look. A crook. Joe acts like this is news to him. Maybe he's forgotten about all his arrests. Here, let me remind you. This only makes Joe mad and mean. 
Learn the law before you come chasing I, people no, down. No, I know the law. Oh, you don't, you don't right. have a contractor's license, Joe. I'm a special trades. It's right there. Get out of my face with I'm that face. Go on on about your Listen, business. You don't have a contractor's license. So what? And you're imitating Bloomfield I'm not imitating. Listen, man. Let me, let me tell you something. You were Look, supposed you, to go to court. See, you were you supposed see, to go to court over this, this right? This right here, you're going to get sued okay. because I have an attorney okay. and all but, my paperwork is filed. But you didn't even filed. show up to court. Why didn't your attorney show up to court? I was at a funeral. Court? My attorney has just called me. We're going back to court. I thought you had a funeral last week. Remember, he canceled one of our appointments last week with that excuse. Now he's using it for a court date he missed last month. Here's Why are you right trying here. to take business from this guy, Jeff? I'm not trying to take nothing from Why don't you just have Jeff? a different name? I, I can name my company whatever I want to, Rob. No, you can't. That's not true. We'll see. We'll see what the judge has to say about that. The judge already said something what about it. You say? were supposed to be in court. Now, Joe resorts to false accusations and insults. Get a real suit, dude. You work on the news every day. You went around in a seer sucker suit. Okay. Go buy you a nice suit, Rob. He even insults my producer. You look horrible. You know, interesting. You miserable. Interestingly. Interestingly. You, you have a good what, day. What, why are you throwing out insults? Because at people, this is Joe. an insult. This is the wrong. I'm not in the wrong. You are in the wrong, Joe. And you are in the Hall of Shame. I've got a me. I've got a me. Joe Carson says Daryl, the customer in the story, could have taken him to court if he was so unhappy. Joe says he left that job because Daryl didn't want to pay him the final installment. Joe claims on his website that his Bloomfield Construction Company has been in business since 2001. But I have his incorporation papers right here. And they were filed in January of this year, four months ago. And the special license Joe mentioned, according to the people of the state, he doesn't have any kind of license that would allow him to do residential building.